Right, so here's the deal. I'm in a toilet after a very boozy lunch. Um, it's Independent Book Sales Week and it's Bookshop Crawl Day. And me and my friends are about to go out. We've seen a tennis for tonight, so hence the drinking already. I'm going to try and take them on a secret book call without them realising. We'll see how many shots we can get into. <laughs> Let's go! They don't know. <laughs> Number two, we told them it's a bar. <laughs> it's at the tube station. I'm gonna stand in it. <laughs> They're on to me. They have realised what I am doing and now they've decided to pose with a postcard. Quick! There we go! <laughs> we're on our way to... Oxford Street to go buy flowers, 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 flowers. Everyone's on to me. The secret book crawl. It's not worked. We're buying flowers. It's not, we're buying flowers. We're buying flowers. But if we walk past the bookshop, I'll stand in it. I have flower crowns. This is not a bookshop. Number two, yesterday didn't really work, let's be honest. So today I am going around London. I have bought my DSLR and not put a battery in it. So it's another iPhone vlog. But um, today I am gonna go to some of my favorite bookshops and take you with me. First up is the National Theatre Bookshop, but I'm not sure it's open. We'll find out. National Theatre. My love for the National Theatre is ridiculous. That's a whole story for another time, but the bookshop is great. Last year we tried to go there, but it was closed because they've just refurbed it, so the new one is excellent. And I got discount because I'm in their entry pass scheme, so I got 10% off. And I bought a play by Nick Payne. fortune and gosh bought three books one of them is my book that I will be giving away um, I'll tell you a bit more about that later but last stop now is foils and then home so that's my book crawl done that was my mini bookshop crawl to my four favorite bookshops slash a book market store in London that I like to go to regularly so I suppose you will want to know what I got and um, first up from the National Theatre Bookshop, nice packaging, bags, yes, A+. Plus. I got The Same Deep Water As Me by Nick Payne. Um, it's a play, obviously, bought it at the Theatre Bookshop. I love Nick Payne's work. I saw Constellations the other day and it's going to the West End for a limited run. So I, I highly recommend checking that out. Um, this one I don't actually know a lot about, I just bought it because it was a Nick Payne play. But it seems to be about personal injury lawyers and the cast of actors in it would suggest that it's quite funny. Next up from the South Bank book market, I got Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf by Edward Albee. Um, me and the bookseller had a little chat about how much we love this cover. It's just, I love a good simple cover and who doesn't like the combination of hot pink and green? This cost me three pounds. South Bank Book Market is just under Waterloo Bridge, I think it is. Whatever the bridge is by the BFI and the National Theatre on the South Bank. Is the, I can't work out when it's there, but it's there quite often. So if you happen to be walking down the South Bank, it's great to have a look at. There are so many different books. Like, there's something for everyone there. And they're all reasonably priced. And who doesn't like a second hand book? Next I visited Gosh and this is where I spend the most money of the day. Gosh is a comic book store slash, they sell graf graphic novels, comic books um, in Soho. Upstairs it's all graphic novels really and they have an, ex they have an excellent children's selection 
and then downstairs they have um, comic books so if you're into that it's definitely worth checking out first thing that caught my attention was this book here it was in the memoir section I quite, quite like reading graphic travelogues and memoirs and things like that um, Lucy Neasley is probably one of my favourite artists so this caught my eye in that section I really like the cover and it's a memoir in comic strips about growing up in Iran during and after the Islamic revolution so that sounded really interesting so that was my first one artwork is like this it's all black and white but it looks it looks like it's going to be a really good one the next one to catch my eye was this and it's brain camp so strange things are happening I think this is going to be my give a book and it is going to go to my school that I used to work at until very recently. Um, my mum works there as well and she has a form and I think it's going to be donated to her form class for when they do silent readings in the morning. The title got me, to be honest. It looked like a good one. And then I flip through it and I really like the drawings. And it's about a summer camp, so that's exciting. And I get the feeling they may be turned into zombies, maybe. I'm not sure. I think I'll have a quick read before I give it away. That's not too naughty. <laughs> My last book from Gosh was Super Mutant Magic Academy, which has come with a um, signed print, so it's sealed up at the moment. But I really like the artwork in it and the idea of a Super Mutant Magic Academy just seemed great, so I had to buy it really. And last off, I visited Foils at their flagship store, which I visited for the first time um, last year on the Bookshop Crawl. I'd been to Foils before, obviously, but they'd opened their brand new big shiny one. I've been back quite a few times since, and I love it. It's so big, it's so light and airy and spacious. The staff are really helpful, and it's just a nice place to be. So, my book I bought was Hold Me Closer, The Tiny Cooper Story by David Letterton. It's kind of a tie-in but, but not book. I've had my eye on it for a while. David Letterton did a book called Will Grayson, Will Grayson with John Green where they wrote alternate chapters each. Um, and in that book there was Tiny Cooper writing his musical and this is the book of the musical that was in the book. So, if that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. I've looked at this for ages and then not bought it, but today I thought now is the time to buy a super sparkly glittery book. So that was my bookshop crawl of my four favourite books. The neighbour is watching me through the window. This is not awkward. Let me know what your favourite bookshops are in the comments below and if you did the bookshop crawl what did you buy i want to know see ya